So Wolf Tooth just came out with these multi-tools that are designed to hide away in your handlebars. And I thought what better way to test them as actual tools than to assemble my Crest Bambora, uh, which has been packed away for our trip in Sacramento. As you can see here, there are two sets of tools uh, for either side of your handlebar. So one is a series of magnetic bits that plug into this socket here, and you can use it as, a, as you would a regular multi-tool. And this other side is uh, for kind of tire repair. So you've got your chain breaker here. It also houses a, a bunch of bacon strips and all sorts of tools to fix uh, flat if you're running tubeless. So I'm gonna be focusing mostly on this tool. And just to give you guys a quick look, there is this kind of rotating head that these bits plug into. And what holds these bits into this carrier um, are a series of rubber O-rings that you can move out of the side. And it's also held in, whoa, it's also held in by the, the power, by the power of magnets, as you can see here. So you can, it'll snap right in. So this is my first time using this. I don't know exactly which tools are, are in here. So hopefully you will have enough tools to assemble the bike. Uh, clearly it won't have all the tools, but we'll see how much of an assembly I can do with just this kit. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is actually uh, put the rotor back onto my front wheel here. So clearly this tool does not have a lock ring wrench that I need. So bear with me here. Okay, wheel. Now for the fun stuff. Yes, TSA inspected my bag. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put on, uh, is reinstall the fork. So for that, I will need the four and the five. So one thing I'm noticing right off the top is the numbers, the size of the tool is on, is etched on the tool bit itself. So I've got my four and my five that I'm gonna to use to reattach the fork. Uh, one, one quick pro tip here is, uh, to keep all the parts of the headset together, we like to use these kind of reusable zip ties. And basically what this does, it just keeps all the parts of the headset together in transit so they don't flop around. And because they are reusable, you're not constantly uh, cutting um, zip ties. There it goes. So we've got the uh, fork in place. So time to slip on uh, the spacers and tighten this front part of the bike down. So first task with the tool is to um, put in the stem cap and then preload the bearing a little bit. So one thing I do like is that you can angle this and use it straight in to kind of start in the bolt head and then move it into the right angle to, to give it a little bit more torque. Swapping to the four. Tool work great in terms of putting the fork back in, uh, you know, compressing the, the stem cap and tightening the pinch bolts on the stem itself. I wish there was kind of an on deck circle for, uh, you know, the bolt that you're not using. And you can kind of do it by just sticking the bolt on the end here. So let's say you're alternating between the four and the five. You can use the four like this and then uh, quickly swap it out and then put this guy on the on deck circle. I don't know that they intended for this to actually work like this, but it does, so there you go. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is put on the saddle, and it works pretty well. So one quick pro tip in regards to packing your bike for travel is uh, if you have a through axle bike, uh, you can leave the rear through axle in there, and I think that might kind of marginally prevent things from uh, being crushed in transit. So that's what I did, through axle is still there. Keeps the front dropout from being compressed in case they throw the bag around. So this might be a little tricky. Hopefully the uh, uh, the bolt here is long enough, oh, to get through and actually turn. Um, okay, so I think we've hit a limitation of this tool. Um, I tried to bolt in the rear derailleur. That needs a five millimeter uh, little Allen head and it's too short to actually go in and make contact with the bolt and tighten it. This, this bulky part, which is an eight, uh, millimeter Allen that gets in the way. So that's good to know if you're traveling that this won't be long enough to install a rear derailleur. So you, you're, you're still gonna have to carry another tool. But let's put on the pedals. Works pretty well. And bam. Uh, so you got the bike mostly assembled. It just needs a chain here 
Um, this does not have the appropriate tool to put the chain together. So far, um, I'm pretty impressed in terms of the usability of the tools. I think they do a pretty good job. Um, it's a shame that the five wasn't long enough, so I couldn't uh, install the rear derailleur. Otherwise, most of the build, except for stuff with the lock rings on the rotor, I was able to do with this tool. So will it pass as the only tool you'll need when you travel? Uh, probably not, actually definitely not, but I think in a pinch, it's a pretty functional tool to have on hand. I think what I'll do next is flip the bike over and we'll see how easy it is to get inside the actual handlebar since that is uh, kind of its one of its value propositions. So now I'm gonna test uh, how easily this actually goes inside the handlebar because once again, that's supposed to be the whole kind of magic of this tool. Uh, one thing that makes this possible in terms of drop bars is that this part actually articulates. So it's supposed to be able to work its way around um, kind of the bend of a bar. I think this might be one of the trickier bars to get it to fit just because it does have this ergonomic crux. Again, this is the Ritchie Venture Max. So it's not a straight uh, piece of tubing here. There are kind of kinks in uh, the handlebar. So taking out the handlebar cap that, come, that came with the Silca tape. So I'm just inserting it in here, getting it through. Um, and I don't know that it's gonna fit with I don't know that it's gonna fit with these Ventramax bars. I think part of the deal is that uh, you can cut this plastic stuff, this rubber stuff, so that it does fit better. I'm gonna take a little piece off. We'll see if that helps. There are these kind of ridge lines that are meant to be cut, I believe. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing, not destroying this. <laughs> All right, so that fit in a little bit easier. And boom, okay. So there, it fits inside the uh, Ventramax bars. I did have to trim a little bit of uh, the plastic off to make it fit. So it fits pretty good. Definitely one problem I foresee is depending on how you, uh, you know, deal with this end of the tape, if you use the, the cap to kind of compress it in there, you're, you might have to re-tape the whole thing. A little bit fidgety with the drop bar and the way I've laid this tape down, but you can certainly finesse it so it looks better. So one more time, just a quick look of how this goes in there. There is a little bit of play here. So with kind of the fit kit, there is uh, some, some rubber shims that you can put around this area to make sure it's a tighter fit. And again, some O-rings and stuff. So you do have to fiddle with it a little bit. So that's it for my first look at the new Wolf Tooth uh, multi-tool. Works fairly well as a multi-tool. I uh, did have a little hiccup with the rear derailleur as you guys saw, but I think in terms of having a tool on your bike at all times, uh, something that you don't put in the bag which can get stolen and I think this actually works pretty well But what do you guys think is this a tool that you guys would be into or do you think it's a little gimmicky? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want more information on the tool check out the link in the description and as always keep the supple side down